Greetings comrades, Soviet Gaming here. I finally finished the Diamond Value Guide, so today we will dive into it and we will see how to compare the rewards, how to decide what worth what and uh, what you should go for when picking the proper rewards from the events and whatsoever. So I worked on this thing together within season, basically. He worked on this and I just got the results because I'm not that good in the calculations. But yeah, I used different sources in season, JD and other guys from AFK and Lyrica who helped me a lot to get this stuff together. So now on the event, on the purchase, on everything, we can see which is useful and which is not. So this might be useful for the free-to-play and pay-to-win guys at the same time. So you can actually figure out if some of the bundles are good or not, if they worth it or not. So you can always guess how much value you're getting out of each purchase and you can always guess how much rewards you will get out of each event. So a good example would be if you don't know what exactly to pick from the chest of rewards and you want both course poi points and emblem choice chess which one would be the better value for you so here is the sheet i will show it to you and and this is more of a video for you to just figure out how it works so in the future events overviews and guides i will use this to calculate the rewards so you guys won't have to so you can just chill relax and see the numbers for yourself and figure out what will be the best stuff for you so let me go over it a little bit really fast this will be like in the excel i won't post it anywhere because it's not really needed for anyone uh basically we have calculated most of the values that you might need most of those are based of the shop purchases so the values of the dust has been calculated by uh the cost of these chairs divided by the times divided by the amount of dust and so on and we got the cost of one hour of dust over here, which is 12.5 diamonds, for example. So this is how it's been calculated. But I think for the most people, this area will be the most interesting one because we all want to know if power points or the chests or the cores or the stones are best for us. So right guys, we gotta start well from the start so you guys know how it works. We will go over it really fast and then I'll give you an example how to use it on the recent um, episode expedition video that I did. So you will know how it will work in the future videos so you won't have those questions and it will be referenced later on so people will have less questions how it's working. So yeah, all those are based on the store prices and as for the golden XP which kinda changed as you progress, uh, I calculated the values of chapter 34 that's kind of an average it won't change that much in the upcoming chapters unless you will be at chapter 40 or so and in any case you can't really get xp or gold or dust manually as a reward you can't pick it so you can use it to see like how much stuff you get overall it's always fun to see some statistics like that right then we get diamonds which is basically one uh diamond per diamond value which is the easiest part of this then we get the soul stones and uh, the hero things here so the blue stones doesn't worth much because it's a fodder the elite hero soul stone cost 31.2 diamonds and uh, for 60 of those it will be 1.8k diamonds okay had to check the faction scrolls as well because uh, yeah i'm still double checking it so it will be really really good when we'll get to the next event so the scrolls and faction scrolls are 240 each that means that each summon will cost you something around that and stargazing cards goes for 500 each because 10 stargazing cards worth 5000 diamonds so those basically goes from the values from the noble tavern then we have the twisted essence power points which are really interesting this is like the most interesting part of this so uh overall you will be comparing mostly mythic emblems, power points and twisted essences in your rewards. And over here, based on the events, I kinda checked the previous events a little bit. Based on the event, the values might be like the overall best pick will be different. And it will be different based on few things. The amount of rewards you will get. Some events have the same value of the rewards, some have different values. Moreover, it will also mm, be dependent on how far are you in the game. So this is for like most of the players, but if you are early on and you need those 
mythic emblems, for example, because you don't have the, uh, the signature items for all your heroes, those should be your priority and you should value it a little bit higher. I'll always talk about that in the event reward, so don't worry about that. Same goes for the power points and twisted essence. You should always prioritize the thing that you need the most. If you need furniture really bad, you should go for the power points if the value is kind of more or less the, the same. And twisted essence is just overall underestimated thing because uh, the elder tree is a really, really powerful thing to be invested in. So as an example, we can again use Honorable Duke Choice Chest from the Abyssal Expedition and put those values into our spreadsheet to see which one is better. There we go, we got the inputs and here are their diamonds worth. So for the power points it's 6k, for Mythic Emblem 6.7k and for Elemental Course 5.4k. So over here the best value would be Mythic Emblems. And then again, if you are done with your signature items for the most heroes, you can go for the power points because difference here isn't that crazy. So you can go over each chest, over each reward and compare the stuff just like that or just wait for me to do the guide on that. By the way guys, uh, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss that and join the Discord where we can discuss all that. That's really cool, I'm trying to build a community out there. Plug completed, let's move on. Recently introduced elemental shards and elemental cores here are not valued really high because they are really expensive and in order to use them to the full amount to get the engraving upright you will need a lot of those so uh, getting them from the events usually from my experience isn't the best option unless again you haven't finished up your furniture and signature item if you're done with that and your tree is good enough you can go for the cores and the shards Really, but this is more for the players who are really, really late into the game, like uh, end game players, and they usually know what they're doing by the time anyway. Then we have uh, values of the tier 1, 2 and 3 stones, and tier 3 stones valued way higher, and I think they should be valued even higher, like if you have options to pick out of those, go for tier 3 stones, simply because the tier 3 stones have additional feature when you upgrade the furniture, the gear, to the tier 3, you can use it on the different factions as well and get those bonuses. So this is really cool. You can equip your Ions tier 3 set on, I don't know, Odin and he will get his uh, tier 2 bonuses from that. So that's really, really cool. And that's why tier 3 should be your always go-to option if you have the stone picks options. Then we have the heroes and here the most interesting line will be Sele Hypo Hero. This is Celestial Hypo Gen Hero Reward. Um, it is really BS right now, so 14k is an approximate value. Uh, then again, if you are really, really low on Hypogen and Celestial Heroes and you can't progress Celestial Hypogen Tower and you want progress over there, that might be valued way higher. Specifically, if you're still building someone like um, Lucretia, someone like Twins, Alna and that kind of stuff. So it might be valued higher, but then again, it's up to you to decide if you want to go for it or not. This is approximate values that kind of help you to evaluate stuff between each other. Faction hero is valued that high because if you want some specific hero, that's the easiest way to get him. Then again, you have the hero choice chest in the tavern as well and you can use this one. So basically, this is the value projected from those prices. But usually it's not the best idea to go for the faction hero if you have other good rewards and the lead hero card is also not the best option. But I mean, it's just for the evaluation purposes because I know that you guys might be curious about what, what, what. Let's move on. Now we have the reset scrolls. They don't cost that much because they are not that good. Class fragment, which goes for the artifact fragments. Let's actually rename it so it won't confuse me any longer. And gold, XP and dust hours. Those might be useful for you if you are deciding what to go for in those chests where you have the resources. So over here, you might be thinking like which one is the best. So in order to calculate that, we will just multiply stuff. So it will be 4 times 24, here it will be 24 and 24, and we forgot one thing over here, there we go, so those are the values of each of those rewards over here, and uh, the value are 150 diamonds for the gold, uh, 192 for XP, and 300 for dust, so dust therefore is the best value, but then again, this is really interesting, you will still need to balance it out. So what I'm talking about is your resonating crystal. Most of that stuff 
apart from gold will go well most of the gold will go here anyway will go here for leveling up your resonating crystal and here you would like to see what are you lacking like right now i have uh, 1 billion xp and i lack dust so dust will be my go to option but if i have a lot of dust like it's overflowing i might want to go for xp here or the gold if i don't really want to invest in resonating crystal anymore but i I think it's never the case. So yeah, basically that's how you calculate all that stuff and uh, I will actually help you in the future guys because I will go through all of the rewards and figure out which one is the best and probably uh, in season we'll do the visual guides as well. So you won't miss that as long as you don't miss the Reddit post and the YouTube videos on this channel. <laughs> Another good example how it can be used later on is overall value of one option over another. That's what we did for the Abyssal Expedition. Now we can calculate everything including the gold and dust. I specifically did those calculations today to see the overall value of everything. All right, that will look way better. And uh, as you can see, the overall value of uh, the honorable expedition right now is it's the same difference why so the overall difference between honorable and casual expedition is 7200 diamonds which is not that crazy still even with the dust and xp uh, accounted for because like you still get that stuff anyway so yeah uh, i will use those later on as well because i think it's like i personally think it's fun to see the numbers and it's entertaining to see the overall values of whatever you get so let me know what do you think about that so yeah i just wanted this video to be a heads up for you guys wondering how it's the stuff is being calculated in the diamonds worth and how you can actually compare the rewards between each other i'm pretty sure not many of you will bother with doing it manually if you want to i think most of the stuff will be in the discord so join that we can discuss it there and also in the comments under this video uh please uh, let me know what you think about this if you want more of that kind of guides while you go into the comments to write a comment about this video don't forget to like the video share it with your friends and guildies and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss upcoming stuff moreover the bell button will allow you not to miss any of that and check the pinned comment and the video description for the links we have the discord link that you might uh, use that you need to use to join the discord and more if you're in a guide playlist and hero breakdowns that are really really useful for you and yeah that's about it for now guys thank you for watching soviet out the svidanya